do you guys ever see these effects in music videos especially drill music videos i have an effect here i don't know if you ever see this in music videos yeah and this effect uh, it's an effect that i would call a whip slide effect it's usually done in a lot of hip-hop or drill music if you are into that genre you have probably seen it so i want to show you how it is done me i love starting my workflow in adobe premiere pro so what i do is just i come here i click on my footage and then i click nest then i just click ok i have now nested it if you nest it it will give you much easier time to deal with it in after effects and then i'll click on the nested sequence then i'll hit replace with after effects composition now what this one does it's it's that it just opens after effects automatically now adobe premiere pro will open after effects by itself so what we are doing right now seeing this uh, spinning wheel here we're just waiting for after effect to open it might take some time but you just have to wait for it so let me wait so i'm here in after effects and uh, when you replace with after effects composition it brings you something like this so what you need to do is just um, file name you put the name of how you want to call that file let's say roto brush tutorial me i want to say roto brush roto brush tutorial 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 so that's the name of my my file and it will save the projects now here our video is imported in after effects so this is our video actually yeah just a short video a short clip so the first thing you need to know is that this effect is done using an effect called uh, the roto brush and the roto brush you'll find it up here here is where the roto brush is so what you need to know is that before you do this the subject that you want to roto brush must be in contrast with the background like this guy is just contrasting with the background there is a white car him is light skinned like i can quick i can easily select him and do away with the background if he was dressed in the same colors as the background and all that it could be much difficult but here he contrasts very well with the background so what you do you make sure your first your first frame is selected here and then you hit the roto brush tool and then you double click on your video after you double click on your video it will go into this layer window so in the layer window is where we do our roto brushing so you click again on the roto brush and then we just we just draw around him like this the roto brush tool itself will select the the person like that you see when you do that the roto brush tool uses the power of ai to select the person that you are trying to roto brush so sometimes it usually picks some unwanted parts like this one all you need to do is click alt it will turn red then draw out that part and it will select the person you're selecting and then sometimes it doesn't select the parts that you need it doesn't select the person very well so all you need to do is just draw outside that one like that and it will select like that even here it is not well done so i do that uh, i'm sure here there is not no 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 no. it has selected the part that i don't want so i click alt and draw outside and cut it out so i think i need that one and then here there is a part here that it is not selecting so i'll just also select that or oh, there's a part here that i'm not selecting so i click alt and select it too um I think here too. Yeah, that one I think it looks good. Yeah, I think I love what I see. And then here here on the left side of your computer there are these settings of your roto brush effect. There is two point this is the best and there is the standard and best. If you put it on best your computer will use so much processing power to try and make this effect but for my case um, I just put it on standard because if I put it on best my laptop usually hangs a lot so just to be on the safer side for the sake of the tutorial I just put it on standard 
and you can adjust these settings based on what you want but this is something that i'll show you some other day i don't want to go so much into this so i've already selected my my subject so i'm selecting this guy yeah he is well selected from the background then i come here on the pre on the right side on the preview window and i click ok so the computer itself will just do the cutting out yeah so i see adobe has actually after effects has actually done a good job in selecting this guy from the background because if i just play it you'll see if i just play through you'll see how he has been selected very well selected from the background i like it actually and then here you can come here and play with the feather put it at 10 i just want it at 10 um the feather it just makes the edges to look a little bit smooth, not too harsh. Uh, I like that one. So, after doing that, get out of the, the if you come out of the layer window, go. if you go out of the layer window, you realize that this, this guy is just alone. He's just selected from the background. You see what I've done? Yeah. So, before you leave there, if you need to freeze, when you freeze, you have locked him outside there, outside the footage. So it just comes here to 16 or whichever number it will be. Okay, and here it is telling you Roto Brush is find program is frozen and freeze to update. This one just means that. If you want to make changes to your roto brush effects, you need to come here and unfreeze it so that you can adjust the effect and all that. But right now everything is cool. I'm not into. I'm not trying to come back and and um, and adjust anything. So I'll just freeze it, freeze it back so that I can get out, get away from the layer window. So we need to have this on our background. You hear what I'm saying? So you need to click on this video file, this one, and then on your keyboard, hit Control D to duplicate it. Now the video has been duplicated. And then you go here, effects, and delete the roto brush effects. You know, just click on the roto brush and then hit delete on your keyboard. So if I if I unmask this one, if I unmask if I mask this one, you can just see the upper video. But if I bring back the lower video, you see his. So the lower video is the video where we have everything as it as it was. The upper video is the selected guy. So after that, you come to the effects panel. Here you look for an effect called offset. Offset. offset here yeah. click on it drag it to the bottom the bottom video the lower video i mean so on this offset effect you click here on the offset effect what you do is that you can you you, you create a keyframe here shift to center you create a keyframe just hit there and then come back to the end of the video let's say i want it to end here i don't want it to end at the end at the very far end. i just want it to end the effect to end here so here i now start moving it to the side like that this is how it's basically done you just keep moving it the more you move it the more this the quicker it will go so I just keep moving it to the side like that and don't worry my computer is a bit slow that's why it's a bit sluggy so I just want to move it like three times or something uh, move it to the left 
Um, okay, that is the third, and I want to align it with him. Yeah, I align it with him exactly like that. Yeah, I think I've aligned him very well with the, with the whatever. So if I play through, you'll, re you'll realize this is what is happening. You get my point? Now, you realize that the background is actually moving sideways, but there is no motion blur. There is some supposed to be some blurry thing going on. What we do, we go to the effect preset and look for Gaussian blur. No, 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 no. We look for Gaussian blur here. Gaussian blur. Yes, the Gaussian blur effect. We put it to our, vi to our lower video. Yeah, here's the Gaussian blur. And uh, what we have to do is that uh, we have to actually animate it. What we do, is, what we do with our Gaussian effect, is that we also have to animate our blurriness. Like right now, this is the beginning of the video, and our blurriness is on on zero. So I have to make it zero, and then I just go like two frames forward. You can press up and down, or you can just go a few frames forward, and then. You add your blurriness to something like you see until the background is is blurring out. It's now just blurred out. I think I should make it something like 15. 15 is a good one. 15 is a good one. You see? Now he's moving at a blurriness of 15. Now and since we are going horizontally. You have to make it horizontal. I think I should just add to 15. Okay, now we are going horizontally. Now, if you look at it, he is blurred out, he's moving like that, like that. So when I come, I want it the blurriness to end here. So here I'll just bring bring the blurriness back to back to zero. Bring it back to zero. That is what we need. Yeah, I think I love our effect. So this is what you have. So one thing you need to do is that you need to come to this, to all these effects, the blurriness and all that, then you easy ease. Right click, then keyframe assist. Yeah, easy is. Then you also go to the offset and the easy is all the the keyframes. And that is it, guys. The effect is made. So when I play it, this is what we have. After that, you now click Control S to save it. Just click Control S, then go back to After Effect to Pro to Premiere Pro. I mean, once you're in Premiere Pro, this is what you see. You see this red line here? It can't even play the video very well. So what you need to do is click click on the first frame of the footage here. Click I. Then go to the last frame of the footage of the footage here and click O. Then hit enter. It will just render the file so that you can smoothly view it. 
okay here we have our effect so after editing the video actually here is what we have so if you love this video make sure you comment down below let me know if you want to see me put out such content more openly so if you liked the video make sure you hit the like button and if you didn't like the video you know what get out of here man